Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I was hoping to get another video in before Valentine's Day, and I am. seven dinner plates at uh, the Goodwill. I paid $8 for them. They're Anchor Hawking Fire King. They're peach luster wear in the laurel pattern. And you know, I, I see a lot of the uh, peach luster a lot and more than half times I will pass on them because they're not in great condition. These plates, every single one of them, they're nine inch dinner plates, are in unused condition, which is almost unheard of. I'm gonna show you a couple of them. I mean, they are so beautiful. You can literally see your face in them. And a lot of people refer to these as luncheon plates, but back in the day, nine inch dinner plates were about the right size for these. That back stamp dates these to the 1950s. They did run this pattern from 1952 to 1963, and they also made a gray laurel pattern. It wasn't in the luster wear. Luster wear came in a bunch of different patterns. I want to let you know if you ever run across any luster wear, never ever put them in the dishwasher. Do not use harsh, harsh detergent on them or they'll end up ruined with white streaks and whatever. But these are simply beautiful. Um, I did notice in a 1952 catalog, they were called Peach Luster as the new sensation. So I thought that was kind of a cool ad. Um, I couldn't put it up because there was no picture there. I'm going to ask about $40 for this set of seven, which I think is a pretty good price considering their condition. And I wanted to let you know if you ever run across any peach luster in the laurel pattern, if you find the 11 inch serving plate, pick it up. It is the hardest plate to find in that pattern. Found these at the Salvation Army and they were on sale and I pick them up whenever I can. They're of course, Corning Weir in the iconic cornflower blue pattern, 1957 to 1988. They're P41Bs, they're one and three quarter cup petite pans. And the best thing about them is they both have their plastic lids in wonderful condition. They sell for about $15 um, if I was gonna ask, if I was gonna sell them, but I'm not. <laughs> Picked up this ice bucket at the Goodwill for $1.99. It came with the tongs right here. And it's not marked, but I was almost 99.9% .9 sure it was Culver. And this is all 22 karat gold. And um, the reason I think it's Culver is because a while ago I had found right here, this matching shot glass. And this glass actually does say Culver. And when I did look up uh, some research on Culver, these are the tongs that came with the ice bucket. So I'm going to list it and I think I'll throw in the um, shot glass too for about $15. I did really well at the Goodwill this week and I picked this up for $1.99. It's Fenton in the custard satin. It has, it's uranium. It has a little bit of uranium in here so it does glow under a black light. This is part of their um, gift wear line. It's to the 70s and 80s. And it doesn't, I'm gonna show you the bottom. There's no sign of Fenton on there. That's because these came with the label, or the foil or paper label. And they are called Rose Bowls. I paid a dollar nine, excuse me, a dollar 99 for it. I'm gonna ask about $15 for it. Custard glass um, was very popular in the United States, 1895 to about 1910. And then resurged again as kitchen glassware in the 1930s to 1950s. And yet again, um, they came out as giftware back in the 70s and 80s. I picked up this set at the Rockledge Goodwill um, when I was there a week or so ago. It's a great lusterware set, really nice Art Deco design. All the cups are in wonderful condition. You can see they have a great luster iridescence in them. These were produced by the Victoria Porcelain and Schmidt Company. That's the full name, even though it just says Victoria Czechoslovakia on the back stamp. Back stamp dates between 1918 and 1939. The company or the, was founded in Bohemia, Australia, 
in 1882 and closed in 1945. Bohemia became part of Czechoslovakia in 1918. That's why I'm dating these two no earlier than 1918. A little upset when I did find it. I was gonna ask about $25 for the set. When I pulled it all out, th this is all in great shape. I noticed that it looks like it might've been repaired here. It did a pretty good job, but uh, it's definitely repaired. It's in really tight shape. I don't, I think it's usable. You can see that in the inside. That obviously, obviously, pardon me, will bring the price down. So I'll probably ask about $15 for the set now. This tea set doesn't have a pattern name, but a pattern number, VIT239. Picked this up half price, so I paid $2.50 for it at the Goodwill. It's anchor hawking in the Savannah clear pattern. It's an 11 inch loaf pan, dates to about the 1990s. Has a really pretty um, embossed, pressed on floral design right here. And I love my Savannah Clear. That is my go-to everyday bakeware. I already have an 11 inch loaf pan, so I'll be listing this for about $10. I found these at the Goodwill. I paid $4.50 for them, but I was happy to pay that because they're in beautiful condition. And they're William Sonoma, you can see right here. And William Sonoma, always a good seller. They're adorable, they're heart-shaped appetizer plates each with a different berry on them there's a strawberry a blueberry a raspberry and a blackberry and i noticed on the back they said chen and i was very interested to know what that was i'm pretty sure it was a french word and it means oak tree so uh go figure that's all i know they were made in japan i don't have an exact date on when they were produced i can tell you that the pattern is simply ws075 and they sell really well i'm going to ask 25 dollars for the set of four So there's a bit of a story behind these pieces right here. I picked them up at the Goodwill. And actually, when I went into the Goodwill, I saw this piece and it had a top on it. So I loved it. The canister was all wrapped up. As you saw, it had nothing on there to identify it, but they did have um, the matching teapot or coffee pot without the lid. So I knew what it was. It was Cook's Club Quality Design China. I did not take the pot, the teapot, but I did take the canister. I fell in love with it. I love this Art Deco-y look. It goes really well with my Fiesta wear right here. And I was gonna switch it out um, and use it as my new flower container. Today when I was getting ready to do the video, I was checking things out and I realized that this top doesn't really fit on this canister. This canister was part of a set of four. But I did remember that this teapot was there. So literally I ran out the door. It took me five minutes to get to Goodwill. The pot was still there. I had brought my top with it. I sat there and I fiddled around with it till I could make sure that it was the right top. It's very, you know me, I'm bad with tops, but it does lock in so I know this is the right lid. So I did buy this, it, it didn't have any, um, it didn't have any price on it, which is usually a hard thing at Goodwill. They usually just say, well, we can't sell them and they put them back and reprice them. But I was really nice and kind. And I told them my story, so they charged me $2.99 for it. So anyways, I'm going to be selling the coffee or the teapot, I think it's a coffee pot, off for about $20. And I'll find another use for this. I still really like this piece. Cook's Club Quality Design was part of the uh, Lecter's Houseware National Chain Kitchen Supply Store, and this was their division. I believe that the ceramics division here that you see, they stopped making this in about 2006 company was started by Al Lecter in Harrison, New Jersey in 1975. And they're still making, a, you know, supply where mostly what I see, excuse me, is a lot of commercial kitchenware. I picked up both these hand painted Stangle cups at the Salvation Army. They have a whole section of mugs and I looked through them really well. I looked through them probably three times. I found this one first, a large one, 
with the brown interior. And then I found this one hidden back a little bit. They're golden blossom produced between 1964, 1978. All the Stangle pottery is hand painted. Paid a dollar fifty for both of them. I think I'm gonna ask about ten dollars for both of them for the set. I have one three inch flat cup and a three and three quarter inch large mug. Stankle Company was out of Trenton, New Jersey. They closed in 1978 and Stankle had quite a quite a long history. Actually was started by Samuel Hill in 1860s and sold to Abraham Fulper the Pottery in 1910 and that's when the Stankle part comes in. Johann Martin Stangle um, worked for Fulper. He was a ceramic engineer and developed new pottery shapes and glazes for the company all the time. He became vice president of the company in 1924 and bought the company in 1930, changed the name of Stangle in 1955. Stangle is really well known for their birds, although I have yet to find one. So when I ran back to the Goodwill to uh, try and clear up that Cook's Club debacle there, I did run into the bin, say we're just bringing them out, best time ever, and very exciting to see what they have. And it was an exciting time because I found this set way in the bottom. I had pulled out everything to get to them. I'm glad I did. I have right here a set of seven. There are six bowls, small berry bowls or dessert bowls. And I have the large, I believe it's a nine inch serving bowl. You can see it right here. Paid $4.99, I believe it says right there for it. Never even reached the shelves. This is Hazel Atlas, um, actually the Continental Can Division of Hazel Atlas because this dates to the 1960s. It is the seashell green swirl pattern. And Hazel Atlas did a lot of swirl patterns. Every color was kind of named something different. The Capri, the blue was Capri. Um, they had a Moroccan amethyst that was in this pattern. They had a Granada gold in the amber. And uh, something I have actually online I have listed right now is the Alpen white. It's the same thing as this, only it's their milk glass line. I'm going to ask $20 for the set. As you might or might not know, I've been trying um, for a couple of years now, <clears throat> excuse me, to read furbish my depleted Fiesta Wear collection that I started collecting back in the 90s when I had the entire set. I lost all the set. Anyways, I found these at Goodwill. They were packed off in two sets of four. I paid $8.50 for all eight of them, and they are staying with me. I think all my bowls I have right now, and they're a newer stamp. This is a newer back stamp right here, and they all have the same stamps. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the haul, everybody. Again, have a happy and wonderful Valentine's Day, and we'll see you again real soon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. Bye. As I'm going along. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Everybody have a wonderful, happy,